and I would love to speak to all of you later, so I'm going to hang out. Um, and listen to your questions and answer them hopefully. I want to tell you something really, really important. Did you know that one cubic centimeter of brain tissue in your brain has more connections in it than all the stars in the Milky Way? And those connections make up your personality, your thoughts, and your feelings. No two people in this world have the same connections if, as you. Your brain is unique and you are unique. So you all in this room, and I'm telling you this right now, you are all destined for greatness. But some of you will get in your own way. You will be afraid of failure. You will listen to people who tell you you can't. Your ideas are impossible and you can't achieve. And I need you all to leave this room today and know that you can achieve anything. 87% of people in this world who work get up every day and don't enjoy what they do. Do you want to be one of those 87% of people? No. Louder? No. 13% no. of people wake up every day, they're excited, they're passionate, and more importantly, they have purpose. Do you as an individual want to be one of those 13% of people? Yes. Louder, come on. Yes. yes, you do. So you need to find your purpose. When I was young, I spent a lot of my time in East Africa. I grew up amongst poverty, and I decided that it is my purpose in life to change the world, and I will do it on my own if I have to. I was laughed at. I was told this is impossible. I was bullied throughout school. I was not a straight-A student. My teachers told me I can't. They told me I wasn't bright enough. And that I should stick to becoming a plumber or a librarian and there is nothing wrong with those two jobs. But I decided that wasn't for me. And so I am living proof that you can achieve your dreams. I practiced as a barrister for four years and I loved it but I just wasn't changing the world enough. So I started a social impact company called Masala Masala. If any of you have bought the fresh sources from Waitrose, Ocado and, and supermarkets you'll have seen those. For every one that we sold I fed a homeless person a hot meal. We did over three million meals 35,000 vaccines in Africa, and it still wasn't enough. I wrote a book for my two children. I learned how the brain learns, realized that actually there's no such thing as being bad at maths or bad at science or bad at English, and decided that I wanted to fix education. So we built one of the most first artificially intelligent platforms that uses big data. You'll hear these words today and cognitive neuroscience. And essentially, this platform learns how every single one of your brains learn. Okay, it adapts what you see according to how your brain learns. It learns your strengths, your weaknesses, your pace of learning, difficulty levels, and it's all about you. And it ensures that no child will ever be left struggling behind, and no child will ever be left under-challenged. And it also helps those teachers around you, those hard-working teachers that you know you love, okay? And they work very, very hard to make your lives the best that they can be and it provides everything about you during your learning pathway to your teacher. And we've done this because my purpose is to improve the world, and I believe that I can do that through education. So I wake up every single day, I wake my children up, I give them breakfast, and I go to work, and I know that I love what I do. And I believe sincerely that every single one of you in this room should have that same passion, that same enthusiasm, and that same purpose. Do you agree with me, loud? Yes. yes. Okay, so specifically any of you who are interested in a career in science, technology, engineering, and math, I didn't start off with any sort of knowledge about artificial intelligence or technology, but I've built a tech company. Okay, I've got 20 people working in London on this platform. Come and see me afterwards. If you tweet to me, Priya Lakhani, or this is Century, your passion, your purpose, and you want to spend a couple of days in a technology company in London, then you get in touch with me. Okay? And the best, the best tweet with the best purpose will be able to spend a couple of days at Century in London with some of the best engineers and scientists in the world. So I've got a question for you. You are not one of the 87%. You will not be one of the 87%. So I want you to go away and think, what is my purpose? Thank you very, very much for listening to me.